If you understand that the more you are running away from trouble, the more people will be using trouble to oppress and to intimidate you. The more you say you don't like trouble, the more people will take you as a sheep person. They will do everything possible because they know you don't like to react. They know you cannot do anything at the end. No man ever passed through this world without receiving blows of life. The earlier you know it, the better it will be to you. Hear me, problems are part of life. There is nothing you can do. There is no amount of prayer you can pray to not see problem in the journey of life. But one thing you can do is that you will prepare for trouble. You will prepare for challenges. A lot of people say to me, man of God, I don't like trouble. I say, congratulations, you don't like trouble. Thank God you don't like trouble. But what about people that enjoy trouble? What are you going to do to them? You don't like to find people's trouble. What about people that enjoy looking for your trouble? What are you going to do to them? Then how are you going to escape? It's for you to prepare for challenges. In fact, I understand that the more you are running away from trouble, the more people will be using trouble to oppress and to intimidate you. That is one thing I find out about life. The more you say you don't like trouble, the more people will take you as a sheep person. They will do everything possible because they know you don't like to react. They know you cannot do anything at the end. They can come and collect your land because they know you cannot fight. You don't like trouble. They can come and take away your property because they know you cannot fight because you don't like trouble. Check even in your place, even in your community. Check those people that they know, the community know who like trouble, who enjoy trouble. You see that people respect them. People stay away from their property. But see those people that they say, eh, eh, I don't like trouble. They are the ones that collected all their lands, collected all their investment, collected all their property because they think they don't like trouble. Let me tell you, stupidity is what is killing many people. Trouble, you see trouble and problems, they are part of life. And there is nothing you can do for God to remove bad people from you. Good people and bad people, they are working together. They are worse and opposite in the journey of life. Two of them are essential. Good people makes you happy. Why the bad people, wicked people, makes you have wisdom? They make you to operate in wisdom. They make you smart. They make you wise. So there is nothing you can do. Good and bad works together.